So the circuit bending controls are quite minimal, just three dials here, but the controls have a very dramatic impact on the sonic output. This slop control will introduce some instability in the pitch of the held note, so at maximum you should hear the pitch variation quite clearly. At minimum, it's completely stable. Now this may seem like a very subtle effect, but when combined with the other two controls, it can create some really drastic modulation. Next, crosstalk happens when one signal path bleeds onto or affects another signal path in an unwanted way. In terms of the sound, you will notice increase in upper harmonics as well as lower frequency boost. Let's see how it affects the shape of the signal. I'll reduce this frequency dial. So you can see some serious wave shaping as well as a change in the harmonic structure of the sound. The sound's really starting to crack up here. Let's play with this. I'll try filtering the sound. Bring down the cutoff. How about if we boost the gain on this? Interesting, it actually gets softer. But the real fun happens when the filter gain is in the negative. some really nasty, aggressive tones being created here. Let's try modulating the cutoff dial. It's already set up here with LFO2. This could work as a dubstep bass sound. Pretty cool. All right, now the next is the oscillator capacitor failure. If you look at the waveform, it might be a bit more obvious what this is doing to the sound. So it looks like some very gentle wave shaping. But all these circuit bending controls work best when combined. So let's add some slop. And then some crosstalk. I should probably bring the gain back up to a zero. Okay, so the sound's not that aggressive anymore. So you can see how the slop introduces some slight modulation in the sound. And now let's bring in the oscillator capacitor failure. I think the serious circuit bending sounds only heard when the gain on the filter is dropped below zero. Yeah, now we're completely destroying the sound. Cool, so that's circuit bending. All right, next we'll take a look at the very unique mapping generator section.